Hi, I'm Richard. And I'm Christy. And welcome back to our YouTube channel, Fulfill, Fulfill the, the Game, Game of, of Life. Life. So, as you can tell once again, we're on set. I don't know if that's calling it the right thing, but this is one of the coolest things we saw. It's just uh, on the higher elevation of the village, and it feeds water into the village every day through these small aqueducts. But a bit more cool than that. This ancient house has some of the aqueduct water flowing through it that flows right into the village. Yeah, this was so cool. I don't know how they uh, let this thing go into the state of disrepair because if you saw the view out to the side, we'll put it on there. Um, with this house and the water flowing through, uh, I would have kept this house pristine. This is remarkable. But let's go ahead and get going. Uh, we wanted to get back with you today and I know we're almost two weeks into our new stay. We wanted to show you the trip to the village that we're staying in. The good news was we started packing the night before and the parking spot we got that night was just right up the hill from the flat. And as the sun rose on our final morning, we were so glad that we had finished most of the packing the night before. So soon enough, we were headed down the lift with the rest of our luggage and, oh, that counts as a power lift. Oh, that counts as a jog. Oh man, that counts as weightlifting. Oh man, that counts as a wrestling match. Oh, and even that I think counts as a reverse sit-up. My well, goodness uh, gracious, that was my morning workout complete. Woo, and woo. we're packed. You go. <laughs> Is there space left in there? I need to put these skills to use that I learned in 10th grade. I got this. What is that? An empty hole? <laughs> Give me a sec. No matter how many times your husband killed. Is that a hole behind my seat? Ah, uh, give me a minute. Is that front floorboard empty? Give me a moment. And at the end of all of her beautiful engineering of consuming all of our space, we topped the entire jigsaw puzzle off with the monitor, leaving about one police light amount of visible space in the rear view mirror. Look at that stuff behind me. We got it. It's all good. I see your feet down there. Oh, this should be a pleasurable five hours for you. Well, I can get to my deodorant if I need more. Really? And if my elbows get dry, I got lotion for them right there. So we get started by pulling up two different GPSs, both Google and BMW, and we tell them both we want zero toll roads. And we were off. We decided to follow Google. 20 minutes into the drive, we arrive at our first toll booth. Yay! <laughs> Hey, on the drive, I noticed that the floorboard behind Richard's seat was empty. Give me a moment. We stopped to buy some wires for the phone, and guess what else we got? We bought a coffee maker! <laughs> <laughs> and that officially took up every nook and cranny of our little BMW. About an hour into our trip, over the horizon, we're just cruising, relaxing, and we see this blending into the background. Do you see it? Oh, wow. Now I see it. Do you see it? Holy smokes. We found the next roundabout to turn around and it, we were quickly sitting right beside the Batala Monastery. And of course we were like, wow. Only after the visit did we really learn the history about the monastery. The monastery was built to thank the Virgin Mary for the Portuguese victory over the Castilians in 1385. Bringing an end to the 1383 crisis. It took over a century to build, starting in 
1386 and ending in 1517, spanning the reign of seven kings. It is the burial church of the 15th century Avis dynasty of Portuguese royalty. It is the best example of late flamboyant Gothic architecture intermingled with the Maluline style. If you watched our last day in Lisbon video, we told you one of the people buried here. Yep, Henry the Navigator, the head of the monument to the navigators is buried in this monastery. The main portal is just remarkable. It has 78 statues divided over six rows of Old Testament kings, angels, prophets, and saints. Inside, the monastery is taller than it is wide. 22 meters versus 32 meters tall. That's almost a hundred feet ceiling in the video. So I don't know if you can tell it really clearly in the video, but this place is remarkable. Here we enter the Founders Chapel, built between 1426 and 1434 on orders of King John I and was the first royal pantheon in Portugal. The style is a perfect synthesis between flamboyant Gothic and English perpendicular style. The south wall holds the tombs of the four younger sons and their wives, including Henry the Navigator. As we exited the main structure, we were still in for the unfinished chapels. The unfinished chapels aren't really unfinished in the way you might think. They were commissioned in 1437 by King Edward of Portugal as a second royal mausoleum for himself and his descendants. However, only he and his queen, Eleanor of Aragon, are buried there. And what a cool name, Eleanor of Aragon. Yeah, my goodness gracious, being Americans and watching movies like The Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit uh, or Game of Thrones, you hear these names and uh, we don't, we're not really aware that there are actual lineages in uh, the European histories and it's fascinating to hear a name like Eleanor of Aragon. Just look at this detail. Remarkable craftsmanship. Just remarkable. So after the unfinished chapels, we finally sat down, had a lunch, and we were back on the road. 
watching the beautiful countryside pass by. We went for about two more hours just looking at and enjoying seeing a country we've never seen. And we started to get close enough to the village that of course we started looking up on the hill to say, is that the village we're staying in? Ooh, there it is. Allow me to introduce our new drone and this beautiful footage that we're so excited to share. Welcome to Linares. A 12th century medieval village that received its first charter from King Afonso Enriquez in 1169. 1169. This village is 400 years older than the first settlement of America. With the castle on the North Hill overlooking the traditional and remodeled homes. Notice the houses built on boulders on the left. And the village hotel here on the right. Just imagine that you're in a village with a pillory, and then imagine that this is also the town hall and the prison combined, and as you see the courtyard here, where trials and executions were held. The castle is of Romano Gothic style and was finished in the early 12th century and reportedly by the order of the Knights Templar. This is like reading the Dan Brown novel, The Da Vinci Code, and a real reference to the Knights Templar. The primary purpose of the castle was indeed defense. Finally, our biggest excitement upon walking into the visitor center was the surprise that Linares de Viera is one of the 12 historical villages over 600 kilometers. So we are so excited. We're down to about two and a half weeks at this stop and we have our first big road trip planned for tomorrow. We'll hit about half of these historical villages. We'll be taking lots of drone footage at all these castles and uh, hopefully in a, the coming days we'll, we'll go for a second and probably a third trip and just get some of the natural wonders around here so we can put another video together. Not of the beaches of Portugal, but of the beauty of the countryside and the ancient villages. I can't wait. We hope that you enjoyed our first travel day as much as we did and you were surprised and awestruck by as much as we saw in just five hours in Portugal. Remember to subscribe for more high quality video, mediocre humor, and good historical research not properly credited to Wikilinks. Okay, I gotta get it somewhere. I, I can't learn all this that fast. Thank you guys for tuning in. We look forward to the next video. Ciao.